Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my empties for the month of May. I have a lot of empties. <laughs> so, with that being said, I did not calculate anything. So on my old phone, I'll be calculating everything that I'm, I'm never prepared anymore for anything. So the first one is um there's some left but i would have to really dig it out is this relax um body lotion from dollar tree so that was a dollar 25 if you get it now um this is okay it's not the best it just makes my skin dry up a little bit more um so it's like a drying it absorbs too fast and it dries up again my skin so i i don't recommend it and i um repurchased like a couple of them so i'm using the second bottle of the same one and i just frank in them that's all i do so this is an empty next this is um suave professor professional <laughs> invisible visible glow self tanning body lotion i bought this like years ago so even though it says new it's not new it's been years but i finally frankened it and used it up so this is 9.97 so i like it i just don't like the smell of self tanning lotions but i'm glad to use that up it's fair to medium skin tone so it was really good i just didn't like the smell of it next i finally finished the love beauty and planet i really like the shampoo and conditioner this is 6.94 so um this is like a natural shampoo i really like it and enjoy it this is from like walmart and i like this you know list right here of yes and no's what's in it and what's not like i really like this i highly recommend it and the coconut smells really good i have an orange one that i'm using now but this one smells good they are always sold out of like this blue one for um what is this one for volume and bounty um so like for like fine hair i think but they're always sold out of the blue one at my walmart i don't know why <laughs> um next is this bird's bees i got this one free from Bird's Bees. They stopped sending me free stuff, but this was real, real good. This was a gentle facial cleanser for sensitive and with aloe vera. So this was really good. This is $8.97. I really did enjoy this one. It was really gentle to my skin, so I highly recommend it. Um... I think this had like little tiny beads to no beads. I don't remember. I think this had tiny beads in it though. Just like really, really tiny, like thousands of beads, but tiny. So this was really good. I highly recommend that if you're looking for a good gentle cleanser. Um, this is oatmeal in Verbana um plant scented soap in lemon this is five ounces they went down to five ounces instead of 6.25 so the bar of soaps is getting smaller but now it's a dollar 25 for this i'm like the portions are getting smaller and oh, i finished another one this month or last month so they're really good i'll still repurchase these they're still kind of cheap but see this soap was 
6.25. Yeah, 6.25. And then now they're down to 5. If you can see that. So. Packaging's a little smaller. Not by much. And let's see, I finished up this Vitamin E Spa Naturals Beauty Oil. You know, I love that for my legs. Um, I use this every time I shave. So this gets really used and I, I, I need it. It's a must. <laughs> so I highly recommend that one. And then I thought I put... Um, the price on this one. This is the Cat Aplex B Core. This is for like my mood because I am always moody <laughs> and my anxiety. So, um, this works good. My mom repurchased more for me and these are expensive. So if you can get your hands there on Amazon. So if you have like trouble with your mood and anxiety, this is really good. I highly recommend it. I take two a day, so it's a must need for that one. Um, This is the Pure Heels like eye cream I got from Ipsy. This is really good. Um. With eye creams, I don't see any difference. I think this is better than the one I'm currently using right now because it feels so dry for my new one, but this one actually works and hydrates a little bit more. So I highly recommend this one than the one I'm using now. Um, I'm decluttering this brush. I've been losing a lot of bristles. So little hairs that is, this is a foundation brush, Laura Geller. And this is like $20. Um, I'm just, it's over a year now, like a year and a half. So this is ready to go. Um, I did enjoy this. It's just, it's losing bristles and it's going inwards in the middle. So that is ready to go, in my opinion. <laughs> um, this A-V-E-D-A. Um, like leave-in conditioner. This was really good. I really did enjoy this one. Um, I just don't like conditioning my hair too much because I got like oils. It's like really, you know, it's not, I don't have dry hair. So for this one, it is not a must. So I'm not going to repurchase that. For any of these, I'm not going to repurchase. I got like other foundation brushes. Um, I do repurchase these. <laughs> um, I did repurchase this, but in a different color and kind. Um, I'm not gonna repurchase this because I just don't like the scents. And I'm all I'm stocked up on this for a couple more, um, probably six more of these. So that's already repurchased. I'm not gonna repurchase this. Um, I might, I'm not sure, but right now I'm working on other facial cleansers. Um, the Cetaphil, this was really good for face and body, all skin types. This is a lightweight hydration. This is really good. I, I really did enjoy this one. Um, I didn't have any problems. So this was a little sample that I used. Pretty nice. I finally finish the Fasarly. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it. Um, the Crunch Moisturizing Replenishing Serum. This is really good. And it costs like $24. So that's good. Um, this was a boxy charm. Um, I have other backups. So it's in the glass bottle. I really do like it. Um, serum's a serum. I'll take any. They work all the same for me, so I won't repurchase the same, but 
I do like having serums in my face care <laughs> routine. This is the ISLE of Paradise self tanning in medium. This works like really good and intense. Um, so I mixed these two together with regular lotion and this worked really good. And for $32, it's kind of expensive for this little, little bottle, but, um, it's just drops, um, face and body. I did not put this on my face, but I, I for how patchy it was like right here and on my skin in general, um, it was patchy for me, so I would be scared to put it on my face. <laughs> but they do have like mints for the self tanning, and I just, I just used my regular hands, and that was like scary enough because it would go in between here, and I, I just didn't like it. <laughs> um, I finished kind of just the lighter tones in the Rare Beauty concealer um i just know i'm not gonna be using that so i might just pass these ones on it worked good um but i have like really intense black circles that I just i have to have like a really thick coverage of concealer this was like a medium to light for me and i need like a really thick concealer so this is the TARDIS Tarte Lip Paint. This was 20, um, finished this. This was in Project Pan. I did enjoy it, but when it dried down, it was like a lighter color. I, it wasn't my favorite, but I'm glad that I got one makeup done <laughs> so far. I finally finished the Britney Spears perfume and this was like at Marshall's for like $20 and it's a full size so I'm finally I'm excited that I finished this. It's the only and the first perfume that I only finished and it was full size so I'm happy to have that done. Um, the next perfume was the Irresistible Vinci. This was like in Project Pan. It was okay. I didn't like the scent. With these sample sizes, I don't really like the scents. Like the, my favorite one was the Michael Kors, like the Sparkle or something like that. That's my favorite sample that I've tried that I wanted full size. It was on like Sephora on clearance and now they don't sell the Michael Kors perfume anymore. And that was my favorite. It was like for $67 and I would have bought the full size for sure for that price. Um, I consider this as a makeup, this e.l.f. Matte Magic Set in Mist Spray. I consider this as a makeup because I set foundation and concealer with these kind of sprays. So I definitely recommend this. I heard this is a dupe for the MAC one. So this was really good. I would actually re repurchase this. I got this free from Super Great. Um, so I highly recommend that one. So I consider those as makeup. So I got two makeups this year, decluttering a brush. Um, next is this Aesthetica Pro Series Brush Cleaner and Conditioner. I had this for years. I just had like a tiny bit and I just finished that off the last time I cleansed my brushes. So that is gone finally out of my <laughs> collection um next i went to harris um in my town like a casino it's weird to have a casino in my town but yes it's a couple minutes away um this body lotion i 
I just frank in this one to like finish faster, but this one's really good. This is um Jose E B E R. That's what it looks like. It was good. Um next was this Mer um, Moroccan oil. <laughs> Uh, weightless hydrating mask for hair. This is really good. The hair mask I am currently using, I, I don't like as much because it is for curly hair, but it's for frizz and I do have frizz, so it calms it down a little, but I only use it like halfway through my hair. So to have this done is really good. I, I highly recommend that one. I have samples. <laughs> the Kiehl's extra um ultra facial cream this was really good i Hi highly recommend that one that was good um i don't know what this one's called but the deep cleansing mask this was actually pretty good i did enjoy that mask the l'oreal um like serum moisturizer um for one week Reduce wrinkles, firms, and brightens. This is really good. I enjoyed that one. I think I added this one. I was like, you know what? I'm going to add that one. Um, This Eva NYC like shampoo. It was a blue shampoo. Um, This is for breast to sass brunette shampoo. I didn't really need it, but I, I did want to finish that one. I still have the conditioner. I've I've still yet to use. But that was good. I just get scared of the blue shampooing. Um, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This was really good. I highly recommend this one. But I wish I had more. And these are expensive. But I'm glad to have that done. And this serum or oil. This Kiehl's. Midnight Recovery. It was like an oil serum type thing. Um, this was really good. I enjoyed it. I think it was an oil. It doesn't really say, but it was like really liquidy. So I used this like after I put everything on. And then I mainly put it like around my nose because that's driest. Because I've been blowing my nose ever since like wearing a mask it it like ruins my um allergies or something it made my nose really runny so now my nose just pours <laughs> even more um so now i just like okay it's just gotta be allergies or something after the mask it made my nose really runny i used up this bloreal Cleanse and hydrate oat milk and apricot oil facial wipes. And this was in a 32 count. So this is really good. I had to recommend these ones from the Dollar Tree. Like, I really do like the Dollar Tree Blorio brand. They're really good. So it looks like... um without counting like some of them it came out to like 194.13 so almost 200 dollars worth of stuff here and i'm pretty pleased i'm gonna write that down so 194.13 so that is pretty good for the month of may I really liked using all this stuff for the main part. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Bye for now. And this was the empties of May.